Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel BIM for Construction. So today we will discuss about the selection set and uh, set set in Navis and what are the difference between both and what are the benefits and drawbacks of both the sets. So this is our model, a 3D house, which we export there. We are exporting it as a NWC file and later on we will see in Navis how the search set and selection sets are created and what are the major differences between them and aapko kya opt karna chahiye kisi particular project ke liye selection set aur search set wo aap yahan se pata laga sakte hain so as you can see here ye ek hamara 3d house model that is open in our navis work and uh, as you can see in selection tree uh, as per the different levels like foundation level 1 roof जो हमारे एलिमेंट्स होते हैं आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन सिलेक्शन ट्री सो फर्दर हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हाउ यू विल क्रिएट द सिलेक्शन सेट एंड सर सेट सो जो बेसिक हमारा सिलेक्शन सेट का प्रोसीजर होता है इन व्हिच वी हैव टू मैन्युअली सेलेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट द सिलेक्शन सेट फॉर द वॉल्स देन यू हैव टू मैन्युअली सेलेक्ट द पर्टिकुलर वॉल्स लाइक 200 एमएम साइज के आप पर्टिकुलर वॉल सेलेक्ट करके उसका एक सिलेक्शन सेट क्रिएट कर सकते हैं देन फॉर द 150 एमएम विड्थ यू हैव टू अगेन मैन्युअली सेलेक्ट द 150 एमएम विड्थ ऑफ वॉल देन यू हैव टू सेव दैट सिलेक्शन अगेन सो दिस इज अ फुल मैनुअल प्रोसीजर यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट मैन्युअली सो एज यू कैन सी इन द स्क्रीन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट गो टू सेट्स देन मैनेज सेट देन अ विंडो टैब विल बी ओपन फॉर द सेट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन नेविस so now first you as uh, i told you you have to select the elements manually like for plumbing fixture or hvc or electrical whatever services for whatever services you are going to make the uh, selection set you have to select them manually by here so for an example i am selecting the roof uh, wall manually here so total four walls i have selected and as you can see in the left side corner of the set, set the first one is the selection set and i will click on this uh, rename as a roof of walls so i have selected four walls and now i will just click on the selection set that is uh, roof top walls and it automatically select all four those what so obviously it saves the time every time you did not require to select all the four walls um, again and again you can simply click on the selection set but now as you can see i have selected only four now i have to add more in that particular set then i have to go update uh, after selection then uh, the same procedure will be completed again the my, my selection set is updated here so this is the basic procedure of the selection set so here as you can see we have to select each wall manually so this is the basic and the major difference between the selection and the search set so let's uh, first of all uh, go through this table you will and uh, later on i will create a, a search set for the same one and you will know the basic difference easily so first of all these are the definition a user defined group of objects selected manually search set is a dynamic uh, based specific criteria search set means uh, any parameter like uh, a wall uh, you can say a width of wall is 200 mm and some walls having 150 mm so if you put a search there to find the walls which are having the width of 200 mm then automatically create a set for them and this is known as a search set uh, function you can say so this is the whole procedure of the search set means you are searching for a parameter value of an element means for a specific value of any parameter of an element you are searching that and then you are saving uh, the selection as a search set so basically ye parameters based hota hai aur jo hamara selection set hota hai that is manually wo kisi parameter se related search karke save nahi karta kisi bhi element ke group ko but in search set you can create that so as you can see here properties and you will select any of the wall will found here that uh, the name of this wall is SIP 200 to mm wall and uh, there are many other wall which are having the different name uh, so I will search for this wall in the whole particular building now as you can see here find items 
after find items you have to choose the category okay so in category you will select uh, the element the same element uh, which we are seeing in the properties and in the element tab what you have to select name or uh, name So here we will go for the type, type and name both are same. Then here we will found the equal, equal to SIP 202 wall conclave. So the same name we will put here. SIP, so this one. Now uh, bottom left side you will find the option for find all. So all the wall uh, which are having this property means in element type it is having SIP 202 wall all will be selected now go to left side corner you will found here uh, just after the selection set here a uh, search set option and you will save it so selection set and search set we can save a group of uh, elements with the help of them so whenever you go and uh, click on those set it automatically selected that group of elements and save your time each each time you did not uh, have to manually select or did not uh, you did not run uh, require to run this parameter again and again so these are basically helpful in navis and by this you can also run the clash test by this also you can uh, set the appearance profiler also uh, so these are helpful in those categories also and you can turn hide and unhide element by the help of these sets also so these are the basic difference between the selection set and search set each time you want to select manually for the selection set and in search set you will just uh, search for a value of any parameter of an element and then you will save that uh, uh, selected group uh, based on that uh, searched parameter as a set so basically if i create the sip 202 wall uh, in my revit again and i will export that model again in navis then that wall will automatically be saved in that search set i did not need to run that uh, search item and i did not need to search for that uh, sip 202 wall again then again i did not require to save that uh, set and uh, this is so this is the benefit of search set you did not require to set again and again of the same search set for the same value but in selection set as i told you if you want to update something you have to select manually again then you have to click on uh, update so this is the measure and uh, the basic difference between both the sets so uh, I have created a uh, uh, SIP 202 wall again in the Revit and exported it as a NWC. So when I go to and select my rooftop walls that is selection set, only those elements which we have selected manually are saved as a set. But in the search set, as you can see here, the SIP 202 wall that I created newly in the Revit also uh, is a part of search set without uh, uh, running uh, that uh, find items again or without updating the search set again so it is it becomes automatically part of that search set because it is having the same uh, parameter uh, SIP quoted to value uh, based on which our search set is created so if the video is good subscribe like share